What is going on everybody, it is the Megalodon or the Meg here, and we're here today for another episode of the Pixelmon Indigo Adventuring Server. So as you can see, uh, I have leveled up my Pokemon a lot in between episodes, and we're actually back here at the stables, because if you remember in a previous episode on the road to Olivine City, we met this middle tank and he wants an Orin Berry, so at that time I did not have one, but I went and I got an Orin Berry, so let's see what he will give me. Um, Miltank was healed and decided to join your team. This Miltank seems to enjoy in absorbing nutrients from grass. Interesting. Okay, so now I got myself a nice little Miltank on my team, but that is not what main objective is today. Our main objective is to take down the Mahogany City Gym and hopefully make it to Blackthorn City, which is the last city in uh, the Johto region of the server. Now, I have evolved, uh, uh, leveled up my Pokemon quite a lot in between episodes, and I also got a Heracronite. To, uh, I didn't, I'm not meant to have one at this stage of my game, but I bought it from someone, so I guess that is legit. So I'm going to put him on here. I got a Leftovers to put on Shackle. Uh, the Scoplins, of course, goes in Kingdra. Choice Scarf, I found that it actually goes best with Nine Tails. Magna obviously goes on Jolten to boost Electric Attack, because he has enough speed. Ninetales, of course, going to get the light clay. <coughs> Excuse me. Got, uh, to get the light clay to increase the hail. So let's go back to Mahogany Town. And let's go and take on the ice gym. So now the ice gym. Uh, Ninetales is probably actually going to do pretty good at. And actually, I forgot to show you some of the newest members to our team. Now, I already have six Pokemon, but I bought some other Pokemon from other people so we can use. So, first of all, um, Mill tank, okay, we might as well check what nature he is. Uh, calm nature, okay, whatever, it's basic things. But, first we got ourselves a nice little Marrow. It's the huge power ability, oh no, not this one. Uh, this one, okay, huge power ability and an adamant nature. So, I've heard that Marils and Azumarils are really meta on the server. So, I'm gonna rock with it. Another one is a better Heracross than our current one. You can see our current one, he, he has... Really not the best IVs, but our new one has a lot better IVs. Well, only on the defense and special attack, well, it's not really a big change, but at least you can tank a little bit more. Finally, I used a lot of money to buy the shiny buy shop. He's shiny, he's jolly, he's the best nature. Uh, and buy shop, if you don't know, is like the ultimate counter towards Mewtwo, because psychic types do not affect or side type removal rather, do not affect him. Which is amazing, but now we're going to head inside the ice gym and take this gym down. So we're probably not going to tell you what, we're probably not going to use Chuckle too much for the first period of time. Probably just going to put Chuck an XP share on him. Uh, a lot of these are probably going to be ice water types, so we're going to use Jolteon, but Jolteon is max level now, so probably wasn't the best idea. I uh, probably, probably should use Nine Tails actually. Nine Tails is nearly max, but not quite just yet. And uh, as I said, fire is super effective against ice, like this Pillow Swine and this other Pillow Swine. So there it is. Uh, now, alright, there's a lot of Santa Claus in here, which do make sense. Uh, that Cloyster is going to get wrecked. Sneasel, we're going to get absolutely shrekt. Uh, Dugon, this may be where I'll die. Nope, Ice Shard. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, there it is. Now let's take down this person. Seal. This is just a worst to. Oh, these are surprisingly tanky though. These seals and dugongs. Uh, they are ice water, so fire is neutral against them. Aqua jet. Okay, that is a damage dealer. Okay, another dugong. Uh, I bet a uh, shackle is getting some great XP from this though. Let's go Poke Heal to make sure that Flamethrower does not run out of PP. Cloyster. Okay, I've heard that Cloyster are really a meta buff stacking Pokemon in this because of the Shell Smash. But I have myself a challenge to not run any buff stacking or pseudo legendary Pokemon. So, and I'm going to stick with that. Poke Heal and let's send out with Shuckle first to see how many he can stall out before, uh, well, he dies basically. <laughs> Nine tails. I think I recognize that person. Okay, switch out to Mammo Swine. Don't know how he's. Oh, that his uh. 
what's it called? Uh, Alola Nine Tails has um, hidden ability as well. Okay. Well, our uh, Shuckle is dead, but I can send out. Who should I send out? Not definitely not Jolteon. Maybe. Heracross. Let's give Mega Heracross a show. I'm gonna use close combat and let's see how we do. There we go. Dun, dun. Unfortunately, I can't get a full screen. Oh, whoa, what just happened? Everything just turned dark. Okay, at least the battle is still continuing. A Weevil. Okay, we're go he's going to get a close combat. The Ice Shards are wrecking me though, however. Nine Tails, we keep gonna go close combat. A bomber snow, just gonna keep going with that close combat. Oh, mega bomber snow. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I think I might have. Oh, okay, I was just in the wall. Okay, there's mega bomber snow that looks absolutely amazing and he outsped me with an ice shot. That's savage. Uh, all right, let's send out um, this guy and hit him with a flamethrower. Right, final Pokemon Dugong, even if I can't take him out. Hail really out of all moves. Alright, we have taken him down. GG, and we're going to click this to get our very own Glacier Badge and the Hail TM. But, uh, our Lone Nine Tails already has its ability, so it's not very useful. Um, however, I do have, got, have an Absol that I got in between episodes. Basically, the Pokevirus. Event happened when I was hunting for Marils in the Mount Mortar, and then an Absol next to me turned into a boss as well, but instead of a normal like boss Pokemon, it turned into a Mega Boss. So I was able to get myself a nice little Absolite, which is very very cool. But now, we can uh, start heading to the Ice Path. So to go to the Ice Path, we have to go east of here. Uh, also, this is where we can buy our nice little Ridge Candy Bar for 9,000. It was for a quest, I believe, Max Repel, that's absolutely useless. It was for a quest, I believe, back in the Kanto region. So that, uh, once we get to Blackthorn City, uh, we might go back to the Kanto region to get some... Uh, to complete that quest. So we're going to take our battling items off, and we're going to put on some XP shares, so... Probably gonna go... who do we want to level up? Actually, Heracross probably gonna be a good choice since he has a lot of moves, a lot of coverage moves. Sartu, uh, go Night Slash, now uh, Kazam, we go Megahorn. Okay, uh, there's a Headbutt over here. So we get Leaf Stone. Uh, we could probably sell that for a bit of cash actually, so I'm not gonna throw it away. Let's keep going this way. Okay, it's just a bunch of polywags in the water. There's a poly roll over there, I think. I wonder if polyraph spawned here. I actually wouldn't mind a polyraph, uh, because... Well, actually, yeah, I would... Uh, I don't know about... Oh, Ampharos. I don't really have anything against him. Uh, let's go with the close combat. Worked well enough. The last time we go with an aerial ace. Okay, uh, he's paralyzed, so we need a pokey heal really badly. And actually, in all honesty, uh, apart from Heracross and Kingdra, I think the other four members of, in my team are already ready to take down the Jodo Elite Four. I do know that level 200 is the most desired uh, if you want to take down the Jodo Elite Four, but I think we picked some really good Pokemon, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. A lot of you are telling me that uh, Earthquake is a necessity, so I might teach it uh, to someone uh, I guess the only viable option is Heracross, but I don't think Heracross can learn Earthquake. And even if it can, I don't really want to get rid of any of its moves, because he has the only fighting move I have, the only bug move that I have, the- oh, oh okay. Uh, the, uh, just a little side note, this is actually where I have uh, been before, because- oh, come on, I'm gonna keep that- yeah, I have been in here once before, uh, because uh, the owner, Jerome ASF, was streaming. So I followed him around uh, in one of his streams, and that is where I led to here, the ice path. So 
but I have not explored this very deeply. Let's come into here. We want to make sure we don't miss out on any pokey loots. Now, I don't think there's any trainers in here by the looks of it. Yeah, that's a feature I found. Um, in the Kanto server, there were a lot of trainers in the caves and the dungeons and whatnot. But in here, in the Jodo ones, there don't seem to be any, a lot of trainers at least. Uh, there were a couple in the Union Cave, but yeah, here in the Ice Path, not really. And if I knew anything, there's probably going to be very, 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 very difficult to make out of. So we're going to see what's going to happen. So let's see. Oh, there's a barrier here. This kind of reminds you of Victory uh, Road. If you know what I'm saying, let's come over here. There's a pokey loot over here. Oh, I've already claimed this loot. Looks like I have made it into here then. Uh, let's come over here. And there's a bunch of gold bats, swine ups, deli birds. Let's see. Okay, let's go down this hole then. Uh, where's this now? Well, there's a rock smash over here. Big Pearl is going to sell for a bit of cash. Uh, I am running out of space. I guess I could throw away the Black Belt, probably. Yeah, because uh, I only have, once again, I only have one Pokemon that has a fighting move, Heracross, and he is going to use the Heracronite. So I don't really need the Black Belt at all. Let's come up. Although I probably should have thrown away the Leaf Stone, because... Uh, who cares? I already left the black belt there, so I'm not someone to turn behind. Okay, it looks like there really isn't anything in the ice path. Uh, I was oh, there's a procular over here. That is certainly something full heal, absolutely useless. Looks like that's a dead end. Now this is literally just a path. There's no like hidden Easter eggs or anything. It's uh, like even like a mega boss Pokemon. Looks like there's absolutely nothing. Uh, wow. Okay, well, let's come, uh, over here. There's a poke that looks like a deli bird. Never melt ice. Oh, what's that even do? Oh, an ice stone. I don't really need it, to be honest, so I'm not going to take it. In fact, I could probably throw away this wood stone, this leaf stone as well. I can always buy them at Celadon City. And Golden Rock City, if I do need them. There's a Rock Smash over here. Let's come over here and claim it. I'm going to get another Comet Shot. Okay, these actually these actually sell for pretty bank loots. There is a Poke Loot over here. PP up. Uh, I'll probably just throw that away in general. Right, and I think yeah, we made it out of the Ice Path. That it was that easy. Wow, I think it took me only like five minutes or something. So I think here we are at the Black Fawn City. So we want to find the Poke Center first, obviously. Well, like honestly, we yeah we're now donating. We don't really need to unlock uh, the warps before being able to warp into a city, if you know what I am saying. But okay, we might as well see if they got any Lowland Pokemon for trade in case. Hmm. Oh, a Lowland Executor, but like Executes are so rare. Uh, because the reason they're so rare is because the Safari Zone is currently not open. So that's why you can only catch Executes, I think, at Mount Silver. Yeah, they're really rare. Okay, Dust Balls, Repeat Ball. Okay, generally just the same things. Uh, there's a few houses scattered around here. Oh, there's some Move Tutor. Okay, let's see what he teaches. Blast Burn. Hydro Cannon. Draco Meteor. Frenzy Plant. I'm um, actually gonna see if friend. Oh, he uh, Okay, that's a shame. I'm not sure what Pokemon can learn these actually. Well, I can learn a uh, Draco Meteor. But I think I'm gonna stick with Dragon Pulse. What's that? Uh, spell Tag. That's just increased Ghost type moves. But I don't really have any Ghost type. Well, I do on Jolteon, but he's his electric moves. I think matter more than his Ghost type moves. So I'm gonna keep the Magnet on him. Smoke Ball. Don't know what that does, I'm going to assume it's useless. There's the gym. Uh, we want to find the dragon's den though. 
Uh, from what I've heard, I think it's behind the gym. Uh, not really too sure. Uh, there's ma there's magic cups all around the pond over here. Oh, I see an armor stand. I think that is a uh, dragon stand. Yep, dragon stand over here. Wow, it's actually really pretty. Oh, there's a. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's a dragon breath. Okay, I will take that. Let's see where we go. Okay, that's just a pit that leads into nothing. Great. There's a Pokéler over here. Revive. Absolutely useless. I'm going to keep going along here. Let's see, uh, do any do any like cool dragon types spawn the dragon then? I saw a magic cup for a second down there. Yeah, there's a magic cup. Uh, small magic cups. There's a lot of magic cups. But please don't tell me that magic cups are the only thing that spawn in Dragon Sin. I'll be very disappointed if this epic mystic wall. There's a dock. There's a dock over there. Okay. Uh, how do I get to. Do I swim? I guess I probably need to swim to the dock. Uh, let's trace a circle. Okay, that is not very good. But. Thankfully, uh, my mounts have leveled up so much. Uh, whoa, okay, I'm stuck. All right, yeah, that my heroes can heroes. <laughs> when I'm playing Dota 2, okay. Uh, all right, let's come around here. Yeah, but they can jump so high that they can uh, normally get me up to places that are really, really, really high. Somewhere over here. Was, oh no, I think it's a house actually. Now I have not played the Jojo game, so I don't know what this is. If any of you know what this house is on about, uh, please make sure to tell me. Oh, these are some pretty high level magic cups, so if I have to be honest. Let's see. What? Claim Dratini. Hello? I think the server might be lagging a little bit. Max I, I think that's yeah, I can probably tell because there's a Max Elixir right over there. Uh, let's I'm uh, probably gonna get rid. Of, probably gonna put a magnet on here just to save some inventory room. And there's a move tutor over here. Let's see what it teaches: extreme speed, dragon ascent. Oh, so that means if you uh, get Rayquaza on here, you can actually automatically get Mega Rayquaza. Okay, let's see if we uh, can Heracross learn extreme speed. Can any of these Pokemon learn any of these? I don't think any of them can learn any of these. There's a wall there, unfortunately. So we, I don't think we can go into. Yeah, the dock, but I don't think there would be anything on the dock anyways. So let's just swim back over here. Yeah, from what I can tell, it's just magic hops over magic hops and more magic hops. So, going to walk along over here. There's a Pokéloo here. What's this? Dragon Fang. Not sure what that is, but we're probably honestly we'll ditch these max elixirs. It's not really that important since we now have Pokey Heal. See, just more magic carbs. There's a Pokey Loot on that boulder. We have a C. Max potion, useless. I think we might have just done the complete circle of dragon stand. So that was. Oh, I think. Is that Dratini in there? Yeah, that's a Dratini in there. Okay, so at least now I know that uh, Magic Cups aren't everything that spawned in here. Dratinis do spawn. And uh, I don't know, if you fish in it, you could probably catch some pretty cool. Oh my god, why did I. Oh, I nearly died as well. Uh. Okay, well, I guess there's not much to do apart from to take on the Black Fawn City uh, Gym right now. So, oh wait, actually, I should probably go ahead and I would say sell these Comet Shards, not only to get some money, but also just to make room for the badge and the uh, custom TM for when I defeat the gym.
Look at me, I'm so confident. I haven't even defeated Jimmy. I'm already saying I'm defeating the Jimmy. Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's go over to the Poke Center over here and sell these. I think they're like worth like 12k each or something ridiculous like that. A shopkeeper, how much would we take these companies? Yep, 12.5k. Do I have anything else I could sell? Or oh, the big pearl? And nothing else, I would say. The claw fossil actually worth quite a bit. Okay, but I guess we can go now go on and take on the gym and ride our trusty mount over here. Uh, Pokey heal, and we can take this on the dragon gym. Whoa, okay. This is some interesting architecture. Do I go in this? Okay, that was some very, very unique architecture. Uh, who do we want to take? Probably Kingdra, actually. Because he has Dragon Pulse and Ice Beam. So, uh, yeah, let's go with that Ice Beam. Seedra. Okay, but looks like Ice Beam is going to get enough from him anyway. Uh, Dragon Knight, we're going to go with the Ice Beam. Dragon Knight, we're of course, going to go with the Ice Beam. Exagutor, is he half Dragon? I never knew. Okay, we're going to use Dragon Pulse. Alrighty, a lot of my Pokemon have gained, uh, leveled up again. Uh, but I've been told that it's actually better to use uh, Rare Candy somewhere ago. Okay, I guess I could go this way. Okay, this seems like a pretty big gym though. Seedra. Uh, let's go with the Dragon Pulse. Okay. Kingdra, uh, let's go Dragon Pulse, there it is, Kingdra v Kingdra, and my Kingdra comes out as the winner. Probably won't put Jolteon in to be honest, a Dragonite, there it is, easy one tap. I kind of prefer that when you didn't have to select all the Pokemon, because now it's like a lot more annoying to be honest, to come into the battle. But let's clear out everything that's in here, which seems to be what I've already done. So, oh, uh, seems to be a little bit stuck. Oh, okay, I've made it back to the start. Okay, well, we're not going to go that way this time. Instead, we're going to come this way. And, oh, we can't come to this way again. So, let's go this way instead. Uh, no, let's go forward, forward, uh, left. Left, left. No, we just came back here again. Oh, okay. So this is actually going to be like one of those maze gyms, which I don't know if I like or not. To be honest, uh, can we go maybe right? Oh, I guess the only option is forward. Oh, I've made it to the gym leader. Okay. I probably won't put on my. Now, I'll tell you what, no, we will put on my battle items, uh, because this is the final gym. You would expect it to have some tricks up its sleeve. So let's go for it. Heracross, you're gonna get the Heracronite. Leftovers for Mr. Shuckle. Scopelins for King Drop. See how many King Drop can sweep? Light Clay and Choice Scarf. So, of course, you're gonna send out with uh, Shuckle. So, you get that nice little store. Let's see, Gyarados. Oh, he might be Dragon Dance soon. Okay, we actually really want to send this guy right? because we don't want him to. Oh, why are you Thunder? Okay. Oh, thank God it hit. Uh, let's go with Thunder Wave. Oh no, he outspeed me. Okay, let's just go Ice Beam because I don't want him to start Dragon Dancing. Use Fire Punch. Okay, we might actually go for the Focus Energy. No. Okay, Dragon Dance. Come on. Okay, thankfully he did not outrage me. Wait, why is it not a critical... Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go with the dragon. Oh, Mega Anthros. Okay, this is actually going to get pretty interesting. He's probably going to get the speed, though, because he's an electric... Oh! Okay. Uh, but I still... Yeah. Alright, let's just stall him with... Uh, what's it called? Shuckle? Because I don't think he is very good. Oh, please don't t t tell me I'm stuck in battle. Oh, that would be really bad. Um, 
Yeah, I think I might be stuck in battle. That is not boring though, so I'm going to slash end battle and pokey heal and go back in. Now I'm gonna go straight in for the Jolteon. Just because I don't want to deal with that Gyarados. So we're gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt. Switch to Dragonite, that cheeky little fella. Um now he's probably gonna use Earthquake, so we're going to go for this guy. Uh, he got a critical hit, but it wasn't really that good anyway. Now we're gonna start setting up. Sticky Web, uh, Stealth Rock, Fire Punch, uh, can we Toxic a Dragonite? Avoid the attack, okay, let's go with the rest, cause I- Oh no, okay, um, yeah, that's not very good. That's quite war, okay, now it actually does a lot of damage, which is kind of making me scared. And as long as it doesn't hit an Outrage, it's alright. Come on, Toxic. No, why did it last... Wait, did it last three turns, or am I just blind? Or can I just not count? Okay, I badly poisoned him. But, he is going to get the speed here. Okay, let's send out this guy and hit him with the Blizzard. It got it, Charizard. Oh, let's switch to Kingdra. Seeing as Charizard's fire attacks do do one quarter against it. Go with the Focus Energy. Dragon Dance? What? Charizard can learn Dragon Dance? Okay. Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay. Gyarados. Gonna go with the Dragon Pulse. Anthros. Gonna go with the Dragon Pulse. Oh, it's the Mega Anthros again. <sighs> We're probably gonna have to go Mega vs Mega against this guy, because I actually don't... Okay, once again, Dragon Pulse got down quite a lot, but... Oh, why did I send this? Okay, whatever, let's go with an Ice Shard. What, doesn't kill it? Okay, why did I... Okay, whatever, Kingdra. Do I have anything against Kingdra? I don't think I do. Let's just go for close combat. Oh no, why did I do that? It's half times... Oh, I don't know why I did. I don't know why I did that. 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 Come on! I've won the battle, yeah boy, okay, let's click it, and let's click it twice, nice little bug, alright, now we have the rising badge, you can see in Signa that you have been Jodo, we got Dragon Pulse as the TM, and how do we leave this place? Is that, oh, okay, here's uh, how to exit the gym, now we have beaten it, but uh, we do not have to go to Victory Road right now, because it's still the Dark Cave, like a bonus little Easter Egg, but uh, looking at the time there, we will start to wrap this up for this episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next episode. Bye, everyone.